All right, hey everyone, I'm here. I'm just getting everything moved over here. I have Discord open, I have the YouTube chat open, and we're just about five minutes until the competition starts. So I didn't get a chance to um, completely make a working build for this. I kind of just, like the past half hour, I was on the Town Guide website, and I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I just haven't tested it out. Um, initially, my goal was to get 80 rocking horses per hour. I don't think I'll get that without being prepared for it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try and try to aim at, to get as much as I can, maybe at least 70 per hour. That would be good. But um, whatever ends up happening, I mean, as long as I, uh, <laughs> as long as I don't give myself a headache trying to come up with it. So uh, let me check the chat. Uh, some people are already here waiting. <laughs> Tony Lee, hello. McBacon, hello. Marchin Siebel, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, Loha, <laughs> hello. Uh, Ruka777, I'll come back in after I get a spot. Good luck. All right, I hope you get the, a good spot. Hopefully you get what you want. I'm just aiming for a mountain on the south side. That's all I need. Don't need no rivers because I have uh, the water towers. So I'll get there. McBacon, I like your stage build, but huge problems with the build order with money restrictions. Stage four has you building like 10 ponds and that money could go somewhere else. Well, yeah, that's true, I suppose. So um, I don't really think there should be money issues considering Silica sells for so much, but maybe it's something, an oversight I didn't see. Like I said, that was before the meta went live, so I didn't actually get to test that. That was like a suggested build process. If you do believe you can find a better way to do it, uh, absolutely, go for it. That's just a way I suggested to build it. There's always faster ways. Like, for sure, there's always going to be a faster way to build it, and you want to be able to get to your finished build as fast as possible. So you'll ultimately end up getting more points and be ahead of everyone else. RC Cray Cray, hey friend, hey, thanks everyone for stopping by. Just got three more minutes. I think I'm ready. I mean, I have my my uh town name copy and pasted. I have an idea of where I want to go. Just need the mountain. I don't care if it's a plains biome or a desert biome or whatever. As long as I have that mountain, because I will save some spots on the islands. I don't, I mean, all I know in the beginning is that I want to sell silica. I should be able to rush it using the rare solar panel with the two passive energy. I don't have a layout for my rush. I'm just going to put stuff wherever. And <laughs> from there, once I get money, I'll start building whatever I can. Don't know how long this will take, and by the time, when I do get to my finished build, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to tweak it. I don't know how much time I'll spend on that. Uh, plan is to stream part one for about between two to three hours. Then I'll take a break, then I'll come back. Um, this will either be two parts or three part competition, I don't really know yet. Just depends how long it takes. Martin Siebel's with the amount of money and Mr. Puddles and all I almost had it done in 10 hours. Almost total build. Okay, um, 10 hours with, I'm, uh, I'm assuming just Mr. Puddles, so not a lot of NFTs. That sounds reasonable. I mean, some competitions takes even longer <laughs> with no NFTs, I mean. McBacon, feels like it always takes me 24 hours to get a build up. Some builds, yeah, it takes like, it feels like it takes 24 hours with no nfts at least like the stacked boxes if y'all did that competition oh my gosh took forever march in with your plan went so fast and good so thank you okay good to hear yeah um hopefully some people got to practice the uh the build i shared i only you probably only had like a day to practice it i mean i try to get it out as soon as possible original plan was on friday but i um what was I doing Friday? So I did make the build on Friday. I just haven't tested it enough. And I also didn't know all the details for the competition. Uh, and I didn't have that build process ready. I didn't do that till Sunday before I uh, posted the video. 
So we got one minute here. I'm not too worried about land rush. I mean, I just need a mountain and there's a lot of mountain spots. Some of them aren't that good. So you don't need to aim for a desert. That's the good thing for this competition because the silica crop timer will be 30 seconds in any pile. So keep that in mind. You don't need a desert. I would still recommend it if you don't have a passive oil or if you're not using a dragon. So keep that in mind. Four Mr. Puddles and three buggy ones. Water is so fast to build. Okay, yeah, that's true. 30 seconds. Well, on my end, it's 10 seconds, but the stream is delayed. So by the... You're probably already picking the spot by now. So I'll go to Gala Games homepage. Hopefully it doesn't lag out on me. And is it... Okay, it's 11 my time. So I'll click play town star. Fix the screen. Okay. Oh, I'm not as prepared for this one as the other one. <laughs> but, um, it's a gala reward. Um, whatever I get, I get. Even top 200 is good. Uh, the gala prize is getting, I mean, it got better over the last couple of days just because the value went up. So that's good. But, uh, I'm not too worried about what I'll get. Okay, so we're all stuck at 60%, surely. There'll be one on Discord saying that. Okay, it actually loaded up for me now. Okay, so the spots I was going for. Can I get this one? Ah, oh, it didn't even copy paste correctly. I, I had the link for the uh, stream. Okay, I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> I had copy pasted the uh, link for the stream. See, I didn't even copy paste my uh, my town name. Okay, at least I got it correct. <laughs> Oops, my name set back. Okay, I got the um, yeah, I got the spot I wanted. Just the mountain by uh, mountain that's on the south side. I don't really care what I had here. Okay, this should be one gas. Just sell all my gas. I don't want it. Don't want the gas. But uh, well. Okay, I don't even have all my skins on, so first things first, put on my skin. Got all the fireworks and uh, enchanted ornaments. Okay, dragon and cell gas. So much to do right from the start, but uh, let me... Uh, okay. okay, where do I begin? So much to do. Get rid of the stuff I don't need, or start building, start building some sand mines for silica. I do know that I'll need some more water. So for the time being, I'm gonna put down a legendary water tower for some water over here, and put some trees over here. Okay, so I don't need this trade depot. Over here, put a couple trees. See how fast I can get this done. Yeah, McBacon, everybody got stuck at 60%. That's the Tansar ritual. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, goes away by uh, by the time the Tansar on Godot comes out. Oh, put a tree in a spot where it has for water, but uh, you know what? Go ahead and put both of them down. Okay, so I'm going to need to collect that with lumberjacks. So for the time being, put two lumberjacks here. I know I already have wood, but I'm going to use that wood right now. So where do I want my silica? Do I um, want it somewhere over here? I, I sort of planned out a build, but like I didn't test it out, so yeah. Nah, it doesn't really matter where I put it right now. I just just to accumulate money. Uh, I'll just figure this out. So we gotta start somewhere. Build a sand mine right there. I am gonna need a place to store the uh, silica at. So I would say right there. I mean that's fine. So I don't need to build a warehouse because I have the big warehouse NFT somewhere. 
right here. Rise and 60%. <laughs> Didn't really last that long for me, but... Uh, Ruka777 got a spot at least. Um, I mean, at least a spot you wanted, I hope. I mean, everybody can get a spot. It might not be the one they wanted. What did you end up going for? A mountain, a river, desert? Yeah, I'm gonna put some roads around here for um, more sand mines later. Sand mine is going to need two passive energy, so you probably can't do this setup that I'm doing unless you have a passive energy NFT. I am going to need a worker to collect that energy. The, the um, silica, I mean, not the energy. So I am going to build a worker house. Okay. Go ahead and build two. And right here, put my passive energy right there. Oh, I'm already crafting silica. There we go. I, um, I do want to think about making a spot where I can make lumber. But, um... Hmm. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I should have made my uh, silica rush closer to this pond. Because I will need to put a water pump down somewhere to make them. Oh, well. Actually, I, I could actually change this setup around. Let me see. Um, I have an idea. It might be a waste of money, but... Uh, I, don't, I don't need the well. I don't need the storehouse either. You know, I don't need the silo. Okay, so that... Yeah, that can stay right there. And I'll move the uh, solar panel over here. Um, let me see. That's weird. It, it costs 52.5 to remove. Usually it's rounded to like 53 or something. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna move it again. I'm gonna move it here. I don't have this planned out, so I'm kind of just thinking in my head. I want to have this supply to passive energy all around it. I'll be able to put a rare water pump right here, and I'll be able to make a lumber mill here crafting lumber because it'll have the passive water drums and the passive energy. Not sure how many. Sand mines, I'll be able to fit because of this. But I do want to rush lumber to be able to build up what I need, like power plants and stuff. Okay, so I'm sure I need more um, sand mines. The only thing I should have sold so far is the gasoline. And I, I guess I forgot to get more starting cash because of the enchanted fireworks. Add a couple, couple builder houses to build things quicker. Let's see. So that's going to be a lumber mill for lumber. Hmm. Can't get rid of that road. I can't get rid of that one either. Uh, uh, 7,000. It's cheap for me to clear rocks because of all the uh, the enchanted fireworks and the bonus from the uh, the enchanted ornaments. But I believe the bonus from the enchanted ornaments and um, this this or no this competition and the next competition. So I think the bonus for the enchanted ornaments ends on the next competition. Okay, so I can get rid of this road and put another one. Of these sand mines. And this can be a sand mine as well. So this setup will give me five sand mines. Okay. Originally, I planned to fit at least seven. But like I said, I do want the lumber mill. I don't think I need these two. So yeah, I don't know why I put those there. <laughs> okay. Will two worker houses be enough for all this? Probably. So I can start crafting lumber. I'm gonna put it somewhere. 
I mean, of course I could put it on the wish shed, but why would I do that when I have a dedicated storage for it? Somewhere. That's a lot of NFTs. <laughs> Sometimes I lose where, uh, where stuff's at. Ruka777, yes, I got a backup spot. I was eyeing also my first silica coming up. Um, well, look at that. I have enough to sell my first batch of silica. Got all my auto sell stuff from the Boom King competition. Okay, and uh, auto sell silica. Okay, I put my dragon down. That's where it's going to go, but I don't need it yet. Um, I have four gasoline, so I want to use that for gasoline to sell the silica. So I put it on auto sell, right? Okay, turn auto sell on. There we go. All right, I'm selling my first batch of silica. <laughs> it, um, we're 10 minutes in. I mean, that's, that's good, right? And now uh, I'm going to get even more pretty quickly right now. 20 something second sell time with the express depot. Pretty good. Martin, place choice went fast. Did one spot further than I wanted, but now wait on more money. You went fast that you have a sand mine already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, cheap to build because of the enchanted ornaments. And I don't have to worry about energy right now because of the rare solar panel. It's so helpful. It really is. It's not helpful at the end, but in the beginning, oof, it's helpful. Okay, so I sold my first batch of silica. Dang, that's a lot of money. 320000 for one batch. Okay. So, what do I do since I didn't plan this out? Should I just start working on my finished build? <laughs> okay, for... um. While I kind of try to think, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these scrubs because what else can I do? Uh, it would be smart to actually start building something. So I'm making silica. I'm making lumber. I already have two lumber. I'm going to need 10 for a power plant. Eventually, I do want to get a, a nuclear power plant. So I need to... Craft iron to make steel. Okay. Where would I start doing that? I'm gonna have my mines down here. Um looking up looking at my little mock-up build idea, which may or may not work. But my mine starts here. I believe this is the first mine I have. Hmm. So let me put a couple roads over here. Let me clear this spot. At least, meanwhile, I think I'm selling a bunch of silica. I'm going to end up a uh, millionaire in this competition before I even know it. Hmm. Unix, hello. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I love the 60%. I don't need to play. I just need to watch the 60%. 60% <laughs> loading screen. And hello, how are you doing? Getting this road built. And oh, I still have one more gasoline and then I'll transition to my uh, dragon. Um, it looks like this, uh, what is it? Five sand mines will be enough. I basically get silica after I'm done selling. So that's good. A good sign. Okay, let me double check. Do I want my mine here? Yeah, so my mine's gonna go there, but before I build that, I need to. Uh, I need a way to get uh, energy and then make a power plant. So I do want a windmill here somewhere. Yeah, I probably should have done that earlier, but I, I still need energy to uh, build the power plant. Maybe I can speed up the process by making two of these. And I forget that in the plains biome, I uh, already had trees around the place. So I didn't even need to uh, plant any tree farms. 
I get so used to playing in the desert. Uh, another wind turbine. I learned trick of alpha fountain and water storage around to make pond. Then it's fast circle. Cool. Okay, yeah, like using the uh water passive water NFTs to add more water to it. I'm assuming that's what you mean. In that case, that that's what I do too with my uh, legendary water towers. Crystal DW fan, hello. I got a desert and mountain spot. One minute and thirty second timer. Hmm. That's kind of long. I am assuming it's still one gasoline, so it's doable. It is doable. You may, you might need to depot. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Add some more roads. So now I'm making lumber, silica, and energy. I, I noticed I'm out of gas, so I'm going to add my express uh green dragon express bat to sell 25 silica at a time. My uh, build idea kinda looks like the no NFT build I shared, but obviously formatted to Add NFTs, like I'm not gonna be making any gas, I'm just gonna be using the dragon. Um, I'm going to have three nuclear power plants. I believe that's all I need for uh energy for the whole build. Yes, Mr. Puddle and Buggy wants then builders go on with the whip to places. Okay, yeah, right. So the builders don't even have to worry about um moving the water. I actually don't have any of those Mr. Puddles or water bots. I uh I just never bothered buying them. They're useful, but when you get to the point of having passive water like from water towers, you don't need them. That's the only reason I don't plan on getting one. Otherwise, yeah, they're useful. Okay, crafting my first energy. But I'm going to need uh, 10 of those for a power plant. So where is that power plant going to go? Okay. Let me... I keep forgetting where I'm going to put my mine. <laughs> right here. Yeah, the mine's going to go right here. So the first... Eventually this would be a nuclear power plant, but I can't do that yet. So it's going to start as a power plant. And the power plant needs a paved road. I have the paved road NFT. It's just that I never bother. Um, I never bother placing it. Like I don't really care. So. It's going to use one lumber. And it's going to use three wood. Okay, so I'm going to need. I'm going to need to stop this just to get more wood. Unless I were to add more lumberjacks. Maybe I should, maybe I should add more lumberjacks. I mean, if I want to get lumber as fast as possible, that would be the smart play. Okay. More lumberjacks. To get wood and lumber faster. Oh gosh. Maybe I'll need more trees, I don't really know yet. No shade on them, so, and yes, but to fill the ponds you need and faster than walking farmer. That's true, uh, since they also, they also water their crops, I believe. Or they should be. But yeah, the, the no shade on them, that's really helpful. It's uh, one of the reasons I love the feed bots. The feed bot building casts no shade. It's super, super useful. I don't think I've streamed the competition where I've uh, used the feed bots yet. But I know eventually it'll come back and uh, I'll get to show off my wool rush. <laughs> if I even remember how to do it. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. That's being built. 
Okay, so I am getting a bunch of wind now. Probably end up with too much. I almost have 10 lumber. I'm getting to 10 energy. I have 2 million cash. Cash is not going to be an issue at all. Uh, which is good. i rather us have to like actually play the game and build stuff than wait like an hour trying to sell something. Okay, so right here is going to be the power plant, but first I need the pond and the water. Okay. Okay. So where to begin? Well, the uh, pond goes first. I'm going to want to move, temporarily move my legendary water tower so I can finish making this pond immediately. So do that right there, and now it has enough water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the other pond because I will need one over here. Uh, the plan is to have it here. Might as well. How many ponds? Yeah. I'm looking at my mock-up build. It's, it's not completely done. There's like some empty spots that I have no clue what I'm going to do with. But I already know I'm going to have to tweak it, so maybe I'll figure it out. And for the ceramic bowl section, the pottery shop section, I'll have it set up right here somewhere. Um, I'm going to need a temporary road here. And here. Okay. There's one more pond somewhere else. I'll just I'll do that one later. Actually, I might not even need to build that other pond. I might just put like a water, a passive uh, fountain or something where the Death Pro Records might be able to use that. I'm in step where you build for sand mine and power. Look where you are already. <laughs> yeah, moving fast, or at least I'm trying to. Uh, I didn't plan this out, so you can kind of see I'm just kind of putting stuff. Uh, putting stuff. Some stuff I put anywhere. I mean, these trees, I already know that this section is going to have a bunch of trees. Andre the Jagger, hello. We, we mere mortals that don't have a lot of NFTs are going very slow. <laughs> oh, yeah, trust me. I, I know how slow it is. <laughs> I feel your pain too. I've done no NFT builds. I mean, on on competitions, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and use my NFTs. Like, I do want to rank better, so. Okay. I can start building. I can almost start building the uh, power plant. I'm just gonna pop that down. And yeah, I should be able to start building it now. Where were you at? Okay, right here. I need this built first so I can make energy faster. And um, then I can work on getting iron. And in the meantime, while I'm selling a bunch of silica, I'm getting more money than I should have. <laughs> I'm going to work on getting steel. Because that process is a, a little slow. But once I have enough steel for the three nukes that I'll need, so I need 15 steel. I should honestly be able to just start working on my finished build idea. And after that, just see how much it does and tweak it. Because it, it's never perfect on the first try. It never is. And as far as the empty spots, I have no clue. Just leave them empty, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll put my box down if I don't know what else to put. On OpenSea, go for the once you need and the Miranda that helps. Rod has a video on it that helps so much. Oh yeah, the uh, Miranda skins. That's probably one of the most useful NFTs to have if you actually plan on competing in the competitions. I don't know how much it'll help you on the regular 
servers. I mean, like, it does speed things up, obviously. But uh, you mostly get those for the advantage in the competition. Faster movement speed, slightly less crafting times. Eventually, I'll start making videos on um, all the NFTs. Like, if I recommend them, the, um, I'll explain their utility, how much they earn once we actually know how much they earn. Uh, I'm sure that's going to help a lot of people out. I'm just waiting until the new town star, the new town star on Good Note comes out. That way, we actually have more info. That's the main reason I just don't want to do them right now. Uh, it's all, we're only like a month away from the new town star, at least that's the plan. I know they were saying by the end of the month, Benefactor kind of cleared that up. By the end of the month, we'll get a playtest, guys. Like, that's what it's sounding like. We won't actually get the um, full released version with Plater and turned on until sometime in February. That's honestly what I expected. Like, I mentioned that on one of my other streams. Like, I... Uh, I, I was just skeptical that it wasn't going to be done by the end of January. There's like no way. It seems like they still have to, uh, stuff to work on. It will get done. I do believe it will get done. They're close. By February is, uh, it, it's, it should be done by February. <laughs> That's all I got to say on that. McBacon already messed up and nearly ran out of money. What did you do? <laughs> How did you mess up? Did you build the sand mines too early or what? Um, if you have no NFTs, you probably you probably should sell like two or three batches of flour. I think you only need to sell two batches though before you get to uh, the silica. Okay, so that's being built. I have too much money, so get rid of these rocks. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need that pond there. Uh, for the time being, I need this just because it's making lumber. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm waiting on that. Then I'm going to build the, uh, the iron mine. So, maybe I can get this set up. The way I'm planning to actually get it set up. I, I gotta check. I kind of just put, just put anything right here for now. But I think I can set that up. Ruka, since my distance is a little far, I have to shift roads around to make sure I have room for an extra truck, if need be. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you need to have two trucks to sell everything, then yeah. Better safe than sorry, right? Tris Media. Hello, Tris Media. Uh... Oh, you got planes too. Yeah, I didn't really care what biome I went for. Uh, I don't need the oil seep. I don't need gasoline. Because I'm using the dragon and because I'm going to build uh, power plants. Well, I'm going to upgrade to nuclear power plants. That's what I meant to say. Uh, mostly, I just wanted the mountain. The mountain is going to help me out with the mines. Well, you got NFT, so all good. That's correct. <laughs> McBacon didn't realize that I put my windmills under my mountain. Oh, I had to destroy and rebuild them. That's right. And windmills, uh, no, no, windmills right now don't cost a lot. But yeah, yeah, they gotta be green timers. That's true. Or else it just takes too long to make a uh, flower. Andre de Jagger, can sand mines be placed anywhere? Yeah, for this competition, they made it so that silica is crafted at 30 seconds, no matter where you put them. So you can use any bio. You can put sand mines anywhere to craft silica. So as you see right here, this normally would be a red timer and it would take like three minutes, but they're, they're all green timers. And on the Townstar playbook, I just put that uh, the uh, silica had a 30 second craft time for all the timers, because I didn't really know how they, they plan to set it up like this. Tris 24-7 here. And I was having a hard time getting a desert mountain, so I got a plain mountain. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you miss out on the oil seep, but I'm sure you got a plan for that. You might have to build nuclear power plants to make up for the energy. Um, other than that, just have a couple oil pumps. Un unless you got, like, a 
passive oil nfts i don't know i mean <laughs> martin 31k waiting for enough to percent mine okay then big money flow step sign mine almost except the mine okay all right I'm close um i'm at five million uh still waiting on the power plant you know what i don't have enough builders that's my problem uh i need to hire more builders man guys i was trying to buy a crane bot uh, that's probably not gonna happen <laughs> the prices went up i was trying to buy a crane bot though actually kind of wanted one i could probably still afford one just because gala went up it would cost almost all my gala so i don't really want to do that um I did end up getting a Santa's factory. When was it? Yesterday morning. So I am going to do, I am going to use that in my build right here, the legendary Santa's factory. I have placed an offer on it. At the time, it was what I call a low ball offer. That's a really low offer. It's still the highest offer, but it's way under what it should be selling for. Of course, Gala went up, so by the time I actually bought it, it was like a reasonable price. It was I still got it cheaper than what uh, Gala was selling it in the store. So, still pretty good. But the reason I um, kind of wanted to go for this was for the pa four passive pool. Right now, that's near useless, just for Icebox. But it's a speculative purchase because Mao is really like determined to get coal to be used in a lot more new crafts. So maybe in the future, you know, it might work out. But right now it's it's a really speculative thing to buy because or passive coal, like when when am I ever gonna use that right now? Who knows? Um at least I do get to place one in this competition for the rocking horses. It's not gonna be that much help though. Okay, Legend of Zekrom. I don't understand how the mountain is preferred over a river because a river creates more spot. Also, I'm lucky boy and have silent rides, so no iron mine for me. Okay, that's good that you have the silent mine. No, it's uh, the silent ride. It's really helpful. Um, so here's my thought process. The mountains all require, if you're crafting chromium and limestone, they require three energy, so you have to set them up in a specific spot near the power plants. If you can just condense them all together, you can get away with less power plants or less nuclear power plants. So you, you save space on the mountains and possibly shave off a power plant or a nuclear power plant. Um, as for the river, of course, it will save more spaces, but the build I shared probably has more than enough wood already. I mean, unless you implement other NFTs to actually boost the rate and you need more wood then i can understand and maybe some people already have passive water nfts so they prefer to go for the mountain because ultimately when i thought about it i feel like a mountain was a better way to go but of course i recommended both they're both good 25 seconds from bagad good enough no yeah that's fast under 30 seconds is fast just media, that is my problem really. I'm going to have a hard time for the passive energy. So I might build one new, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to though, because um what what are you gonna do? Wind turbines for energy? I mean, I did that on the last build I showed, but um it it's it's not as convenient as having like energy crafted from a power plant or a nuclear power plant. Okay, so I did get this crafted. I'm gonna want to put a warehouse over here so I can deposit energy in. I have the plan to put it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna need one more dirt road. And lucky enough, I have two of these big warehouses. So I'll put one here. Now I need the two passive crude oil not a problem because i got the haunted west wing i know too many nfts <laughs> um so it's crafting a, a energy which i'll need for a lot more stuff do i need these probably not but uh, i'll keep them there for now 
still crafting a bunch of silica. Next step is the uh, the mines. Well, I might as well build it here. I was going to put my first one here, but I already have the paper out there. So, hold on as I start crafting my first mine. I'll pave that road, so I'll put another mine there later. And I want to add a couple roads around here. I'm going to have to put a steel mill here somewhere. My idea is to put it like right here. Um, kind of far from the warehouse, but I want to give it all the passive. Yeah, I want to give it all the passive uh, water drums. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It'll get done. Okay, so I got to wait on that. Uh, how many, how many windmills do you think I need to start for flour? Probably only need one. I mean, just sell like two batches and then go to uh, silica. Make bacon into windmills is enough. At most two. You probably just, yeah, just media. One is enough, actually. I really do think one is enough. Like, just to sell like two batches of flour, really. Make bacon with two. You are having your sale time by half. 10 minutes for 10 flour or 10 minutes for 20 flour. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it depends on the situation. Margin, I have a few for passive, but with Gal Power gone, it helps where needed. In Newtown Star, I will use NFT with earning where I can. I'm so happy that uh, that Gal Power is going away because it was confusing some people. It wasn't confusing me, but like I know some people are always confused and asking, like, how much gala I need to hold or whatever for the gala power. It's much easier not having to even think about that. Of course, that means like you can have 30 freaking orb of hoops or something and just place them and boom, that's a bunch of gala rewards. Uh, I'm sure that, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know who would go out buying like 30 orbs of hope. It's not even that good of an NFT. But um, I'm just glad it's gone. Also means I don't have to hold a bunch of gala or this town token or whatever. And town's going away too. I get that. I don't I don't I mean overall I think it's better that we're actually getting going to get gala rewards. I think it's easier to manage in the ecosystem. But um yeah, I don't have to hold like a certain amount of gala to place my NFTs. That's a good thing. Ruka, lol, actually can't build faster than the silica income at the moment. Uh, look at my situation. <laughs> I'm going to end up with too much money. Um, which is good. I don't know if I'm going to sell much silica on my end build. I have no clue, actually. Maybe I will sell some. Hmm. But, um... Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't run out of money. I mean, especially with the Enchanted Ornament. Okay, that's built. Um, I'm going to need uh, water drums. Wow, okay. Go ahead and make another mine for later. Water drums are going to go here somewhere. I need to move this. Where was this gonna go? Let's see. It's gonna be roads. Three more roads. I think it's gonna go there. I mean, it's only moving it one spot. Okay. That was my little idea. Surely it can't be wrong. Okay, yeah, so uh, two water facilities here. And I'm gonna need to collect some oak wood. Only problem is I probably have too many trees to collect oak wood. So, for the time being, I need a temporary wood storage here. Um, yeah, that's good enough. 
Go Beak 62 just subscribe. Thank you. Oh, I put I put the alerts on. I I guess I didn't have them on my other stream. I haven't really messed with that. I haven't even added um music to my streams. Eventually I will, guys. Uh maybe next month. <laughs> That's not really my priority. Uh I still need to look into that. Tris Media, those haunted parts are really good to have if you can't have a desert. Oh yeah, definitely. I try to use the dragon a lot, so that way I don't even need to make gas. But even when I don't need to make gas, like this still helps me make energy. And yeah, I still need to make energy even though I have the solar panel. The solar panel just helps with the uh, rush. Um, it's a lot of energy. I'll I'll keep making it, but um. Can I, can I build any faster? I'm sure I can. Like, I'm, I'm already paving roads because... Well, for sure I'm going to have these roads. I already know I want these roads. But, um... But what else can I make? I mean, I'm going to have to wait a while for the, uh, the, the steel, the iron and the steel. But I do want the steel mill here. Okay, all right, so... I'm gonna move this over here. Oh, I want my uh, lumber mills here. Do this is where they'll go. I don't really. I'm I'm planning on five. I probably don't even need five. I have no clue what my final rate will look like, but I'm planning on five. So I'll tweak it if it's too much. Make bacon, start your mines. Whoa, they need water drums. <laughs> start my water, start my water drums. There we go. They'll deposit it here, and then the mines will start making iron. Cool. All right. And I need iron for the steel, which I will make at the steel mill. And okay, so I'll, I'll temporarily have a rare water pump here uh i'm just thinking to myself so I i'm gonna want passive iron for the steel hmm i'm already building it i'm not gonna mess with it but um okay I i'm normally gonna have a road here but for the time being i'll add the legendary silent right that way this gets to iron for every steel it makes can speed up the process. Altman Tetrock, hello, hello. Hello, Altman. How are you doing? Ruka, oh man, I'm actually seeing changes, I think. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the builders don't all dogpile into one log in the woodshed. Oh, you haven't played since they added the um since they since they changed the uh movement to the workers, the AI or or whatever they call it. Um yeah, they won't. If there's only like one piece of wood and you got. So, yeah, they, they kind of all detect if they're going to actually pick up an item. So, if there's not enough items, they won't all go for it. I haven't messed with it a whole lot. I mean, I just saw it while I was doing the no NFT build I shared. But um, I'm sure, like, in a scenario where you have a bunch of windmills you'll probably notice a lot a lot that it'll get rid of the what they call the conga line issue with the lumberjacks i haven't i like i haven't done a that build with the windmills since they added the new ai so i don't really know but apparently you got rid of that issue rmg rmg indeed Okay, steel mill is getting built. These are built so I can get rid of this dude. And I can move this. I can move this over here temporarily. Got my pond right there in case you didn't see it. Okay. This guy gets started on steel. He'll have to pick up energy, but I have a bunch of it. Probably more than I should have. 
Oh yeah, that's um I'm gonna stop these two. Maybe it's too much energy at this point. Look, I could I could even make another uh sand mine. I know I can make sand mines over here because I got the passive energy. It's just what's the point? I already have them over here. Do I make an another sand mine? I mean sure. Do I need the money? No, not at all. I don't. Um I'm gonna want a, a water pump here. And I I guess I don't really need to build one here. I'll just move the NFT over eventually. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. McBacon, I wish uh, Lumberjacks didn't automatically take logs to the lumber. Um, why though? I think that's pretty convenient. Like, is there a good reason that I'm missing? Oh, too much energy. They're gonna have to walk over here to place this in the top. Okay. Wow, I, um... Okay, I almost, almost have enough for my first steel right there. I still want to make more lumber. They're going to have to walk all the way over here, unfortunately, but uh, whatever. Fine for now. I'm actually planning to actually use my uh, lumber storage in this build by the end. I, I almost never do that. But this is a build where it actually makes sense because I'm going to have one spot where I want the lumber to go, and another spot where I just want oak wood to go. Uh, what's this looking like? I'm trying to do the ghost door trick right here to speed things up. Do I need more iron mines? I guess so, because they're walking, man, they're walking all the way over here. <laughs> Should I move this and get rid of 20 lumber? Not yet. Not yet. I need to use up that lumber. I need to start making a bunch of mines. I'm going to need all these mines, so there you go. Just start making them. I'm going to need eight mines total. I think, I, I think I'm just going to use eight mines in total. Four chromium, four limestone. Mm, not sure how much that will get me in terms of rocking horses, but we'll figure it out. Make bacon, some buildings require logs, and if all the logs are going to the lumber mill, then good game. Yeah. Okay. I suppose that's true. In that case, turn off your lumber mill. <laughs> that's usually what I do. Okay, even more silica. Hmm. I'm trying to get that lumber used up. Get the energy used up. Once I have a little bit of lumber, I'll move this closer. Okay, may, um, so yeah, I'm working on the mines. Maybe I can start making some of these roads I plan to have. I have a road in the middle right here and right here. And yeah, I do kind of... I am kind of going to stick to my road setup that I do have planned. I think it makes sense. Uh, might be a lot of waiting around here. And put my builders to work for reals now. Oh. oh, somebody might be at the door. <laughs> um, some buildings require logs, and if all the logs are going to the lumber mill, oh yeah, yeah, I already read that one. So one min one windmill is thirty flour an hour. Who wants to wait twenty minutes for one flour so Two is definitely the optimal. Yeah, it is faster. I get that. March in, waiting on the last time uh, flower, and then first time silica, then two silica mines added, and start a water pump. 
Okay, so you're getting your uh, Silica Rush expanded. That's good. Like, I'm already at 10 million cash. We are a little less than an hour into the competition. Upman, uh, thanks, man, for the build showcase. That video helps a lot. Oh, of course, you're welcome. Glad to hear that. It really helps you out. Uh, sure, make some more iron. Since I have uh, water drums and energy. I'm going to go ahead and pave these roads. Okay. Making some progress. I guess I could move this over. Is anybody coming to get lumber? These two people. All right. Um, for the time being, I'm going to move my lumber storage right here. Uh, I'm either, I might have it here by the end, though. Just go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I get rid of, of like two lumber. All right, so I moved it right here. Okay. Got my first steel. I need 15 steel for the three nuclear power plants I plan on building. You're fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. As long as I have something to do right now. Um, or I'm going to be waiting a while because I'm trying to get stuff built. Like, So everyone's asleep and it's because I don't have enough wood. And it's because I have too much lumber being crafted now. But uh, I, I still, I think I still need lumber, so that's fine. So, perhaps adding more trees. So I got five shade right there. So yeah, yeah, I can just add a bunch of trees and then just add a section with my um with more uh lumberjacks. Can't figure it out. Mm. And I craft lumber really fast because I have the legendary guided blades card. Hopefully everybody did well on the last competition because <laughs> the better uh, NFT rarity that you get, the I mean that that's a really good NFT. The the Great Woodlands Ghost Card going to speed up all these trees, make it to where you need less trees. Probably the most valuable ghost card. Like I don't want to speculate too much, but. Out of all the ghost cards in the future, people are going to want that one. Yeah, some of these will be red timer, but I, I believe I'm going to need them there later anyways. Uh, that's enough of it for now. Okay. All right. Two browsers included with game open, frozen, restart, then build on. D button. So are you aiming to get your nuclear power plants built as soon as possible? Yeah, that's the aim. Um, just need 15 steel and then start building uh, all three of them that I plan to have. Like I already know where I want them. And after that, I'll start building everything else that um i have a rough idea of where i want them and i don't know about have enough or too much of them but that's yeah the three nuclear power plants that's the main priority other than getting my all my roads paved in the meantime because i got too much money okay yeah maybe just just start adding more roads actually i want to add more lumberjack i need the wood um, just like the no NFT build I shared with all the loggers on top, that's kind of my plan right here. 
this uh the, the no nft build i shared basically is gonna inspire my uh personal nft build right here There's nothing wrong with that. It just might not be as optimized as I could have made it. Originally, the plan was to like work on a, a build for me, like my own personal build yesterday. But uh, I, I decided to make a video trying to explain all the gala, all the recent gala news, the movement of the gala coin. It's good to see that. People are happy about that. So, uh, yeah, I kind of stayed up late working on that. <laughs> uh, then I updated the Townstar playbook uh, as, I, as I was planning to. And, yeah, everything in the Townstar playbook should be up to date. I, uh, I mentioned that on the Discord right before I went to sleep. But um, it was already late. So I, I didn't even have my build set up. I didn't have a build plan. I woke up like an hour and a half before the competition started. And I just went on Town Guide's website and just... I already had my uh, the no NFT build set up there while I was working on it. So I, I kind of just tweaked it to implement my NFTs, basically. That's, that's what I did. Andre the Jagger, what rank are you? I haven't even checked. I mean, I, I'm selling Silica pretty quickly, but I'll uh, rank 296. It doesn't matter right now. It is pretty low, but um, what is it with Silica? Does it, did they reduce the amount of points it gives? Oh, can I even exit out of this? That's interesting. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should change this. Up. Are the icons too big? <laughs> Are the icons too big, guys? <laughs> oh, the game looks so blurry when I do that. That's so weird. Do I add shadows? Nah. nah. I might have made the game more blurry. No, nah, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm not that high of rare rank. But maybe other people are like selling ice or uh, oak barrels. I just picked this spot because uh, it had the mountain on the south side. And it was close enough to a city. I see um, the farmer right here. Very good guy in Ma. I see this, uh, yeah, Beastie. Okay, yeah, I know them. I see Crystal DW fan over here, too. <laughs> I don't recognize everyone, though. Cool. Sh shout out to Farmer, Beastie, and Crystal DW fan. <laughs> I'm with you, Tris, about to make my second flower set. Is it is it really taking that long? I mean we're uh we're about an hour into the competition. Just media, I'm just glad that it's only five second delivery time. Super fast. McBacon, OMG, I gotta wait one minute, 37 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's not super fast. Hawkman, I want to buy one of these. What you suggest? Alpha Fountain Good 7000 Gala. What? That seems like a lot. Town points. Oh, that's the Alpha Fountain. Good. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the uh, other one. Alpha Fountain. Good. Seven thousand gala. Town points thirty-five. Rare water tower. Fifty-two fifty gala. Fourteen. Okay, so here's the thing I can suggest. They will probably change the point values on the NFTs. I, I would not doubt it. They, they, they have not confirmed it, but they have hinted it multiple times that they will look at the point values of the NFTs. So you can't really go by the current town points. I mean, it gives you a rough idea, but anything can happen. The Alpha Pouncing Good gives three passive water, does not need a road. 
The rare water tower gives four passive water, but needs a road. Mm, it's cheaper, but it probably gives less town points. At the end of the day, me personally, I would go with the rare water tower. It has more passive water, better utility. Of course, you need a road, but the, the, hot, the more passive water, I think, makes up for that extra road. Um, yeah, it might give less town points, but ultimately, I mean, it's cheaper, so that's why it gives less town points. But I think it has better utility. If you really want me to pick, I would, I would pick the rare water tower. I mean, that's what I would go for. McBacon, there are a couple people with water tiles as their picture. Yeah, they're just trying to screw people over, but, um, in the new version of Townstar Godot, that... It's not going to uh, affect anyone as far as I know. Let's see. Just trying to make sure my uh, storages aren't filled up, but it kind of looks like they are. So, so a batch of uh, energy. I'm not really sure when they filled up. But there we go. We're one hour into the competition. I don't think I really need to make more iron. Not too much water drum. I'm gonna pause them temporarily. No, I mean, I guess I'll make more iron. I mean, not too much water drum. Okay, there we go. Oh, e even with two big warehouses, they'll uh, fill up. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I didn't realize I still had an oak tree. Like last time, I had an oak tree. I, I didn't realize I still had it. <laughs> Loading kept on 60%, so cleaner now than again. Hmm. I'll wait on these mines. I'm, I'm sure I'm getting plenty of iron already. As soon as I get to five steel, I suppose I can build my first my first nuke. Man. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just build a water pump here. I probably don't need it because I can just move this rare water pump later, but Oh, uh, whatever. Still waiting on paved roads. So what else can I really do? I only need one more steel for my first nuke. Mm. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just pave more roads. Well, I'd rather wait on building stuff than wait on cash. So there we go. I'm gonna have a weird spot right here with with um like two builders, I guess, because I don't really know what to put here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and and I realized I actually need another water. Yeah, I need another water pump right there. Okay. Yeah, so I am going to keep. I want to pave this road. I just don't want to mess up the warehouse. So I'm going to make a temporary road. Then I can pave this one. And I can pave that one. That can wait. Um, no, I can pay this one. Too. Right, we got some more roads. Making progress. I mean, for only being an hour in, 
This is a lot of progress. And I didn't plan this out. Not all of it, at least. Cleaner is clean program, seen catch, and so. But what do you mean? Did you clear the catch? Because you were stuck at 60%? Does everybody get stuck at 60% uh, at the start? But yeah, I hope I hope that issue goes away. It confuses people. Hmm. I'm gonna have a long road right here. Yeah, I, I did kind of move this road uh over from my no NFT setup. So the no NFT build I shared, it's like one long road like this. But um, in my idea, I, I moved over the road over here so we can have more space for more trees since I think I'm going to need them. Um, I didn't test this out, so it, it just feels like I didn't have enough trees planned out. So I think I'm going to need more roads, more uh, trees, I meant. Hopefully, oh, hopefully it does um at least sixty. <laughs> I don't want to lower the bar too much. I know I can do eighty. I just need like the right setup. That's lumberjacks in the way. Do you guys think I need more sand mines for more silica? <laughs> no, probably not. Chris Media, and here I am still waiting for my first silica sand. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got my first one in 10 minutes. You guys think I have enough money for my finished build already? Well, no. No, because the nuclear power plants are 2.5 million. What? Let me check the... How much money am I actually spending on this build? Because I know the uh, Town Guide website actually tells me this. 67 million, but I'm assuming that's without the ornaments. So... 75% of that is what? Um, or 25% of that, I should say. 15 million? I might actually already have enough money to do my entire finished build if it's 15 million. So, what do I need? More wood? I don't have enough wood, huh? All right, guess uh, this one's getting turned off. I need more wood to build everything. Oh, I have five steel. Where do I want my first uh, new? Right here? Then I could put the sand mines over here. Um, yeah, that seems like a good start. Oh. I just need to finish this uh, water pump, then I can start building the nuke right here. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll turn on one of these. Looks like I need more uh, water drums again. Making really good progress, uh, all things considered. Really good. Uh, I'll get rid of this. I do want to like start working on my loggers because they'll be much quicker than the lumberjack, but all in due time. So just waiting, just waiting on wood. Yeah, because I probably need more lumberjacks. I probably could do more. 
I don't I don't need that for the storage and hmm. I guess I could speed up the process a little just by adding more lumberjacks again. Temporarily. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> I got rid of that lumberjack. Now I'm adding it back. <laughs> That's a lot. That should keep everyone busy. All right. A uh, little too much energy, but mm, I'll turn it off, I guess. Yeah, it's a little too much. Martin, back in the game. It's a program C cleaner. Two C's, you gotta see it yourself, I guess. Oh, okay. Trust Media, been using CCleaner to clear cache and optimize my PC. Hmm. No, I don't think I've ever heard of it. I, I, I usually don't clear my cache unless I'm having actual issues. Um, usually when I reload, the entire meta is in and everything is working. But if I realize that something's not working, then I just clear my cache and I'm like, oh, hopefully that fixes it. It's happened a couple times. See, can I expand this? I cannot. Oh, there we go. Trying to move my uh, stream labs around. Okay. All right. Oh, it says there's a. It says there's about thirty viewers. I wasn't actually looking at that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone's doing well in the competition. Finally, this is about to finish building. Ah, oh, I, I paved all those roads? Oh my gosh. Guess I'll pave more roads. I'm scared that this might only be a one part stream. <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, because I still got to tweak it. I'm pretty sure I'll come back to tweak it. But things are getting built incredibly fast. Yeah, there's no way this is going to come out perfect. I only worked on this for like 30 minutes, guys. I'm not joking. I woke up and like, um, I went off my knowing of T build, of course, but like, I just started to tweak that around. No, people were suggesting that I, um, whenever I show the build process, that I put it on a text file and share it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do that on this last one, but so I'm going to try to do that. I, I'll put it in a text file. I guess I'll leave it in the Townstar playbook somewhere. So that way people can, I'm not really sure how that works. I guess people download it and put it on the Town Guide visualizer tool. And then the whole thing I made, all the 10 stages pops up. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. Like since people still like me showing the build process like that, I'll I'll continue to do it. It does make the video longer, like half that video, it was a long video, but half that video was me showing off the build process. But like that's probably the fastest way I can show the 
the entire build and kind of explain the steps like other than actually doing the whole build and showing you like that takes a long long time Could start working on some loggers. Plenty of lumber, getting spare wood. I, actually, I think the wood storages are cool. So, start working on adding loggers. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can start adding the nuclear power plant. It's been a while. Oh, I have seven steel already. Okay. All right, I'm halfway there on the steel, basically. Mm, can't paint that one just yet. Um, I'll I'll do some of the paved roads over here. I don't need this one anymore. I, for this um, legendary water tower, I do kind of want to have the roads here, and I do want them paved. I like having all of my roads paved, so this one's going to be temporary while I pave these. Oh god, okay. This one will have the road um, here, yeah. That one will be temporary. I don't need this road right here. It's just a random road. Okay. So far looking good. Turn this on. And start paving. Actually, I'll hold on that. Because I might need more water drops. Mm, yeah, start paving this one. I still need that until I'm done making all the steel. Yeah, it's going to use some spare iron. Oh, wow, these are building fast. Okay. So other than the steel and the, the nuclear power plant, my focus is getting the loggers built and paving this main road for them. Super good progress. Kim Hong Sang, hello. Uh, hi, do you have a full set of ornament fireworks? Ornament fireworks. Let me click on this Christmas tree and hope my game doesn't crash. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a full set of ornaments, uh, all 12 of them. Right? Why does it look like more than 12? Okay, I just can't count. Yeah, that's 12 enchanted ornaments and the 10 enchanted fireworks. So my tree right here is complete. So I get all the bonuses out of them. And there's like a extra bonus for the ornaments. That will go on until the, I believe, the end of the next competition. Yep. Oh no, a spammer. Uh... Kim Hong, how to get a full set? Well, I mean, it, it's an NFT that was sold in the Gala Game Store. So, I suppose you could buy it from there, but I would recommend just getting it from OpenSea. It'll probably be a lot cheaper. I have bought, but exchange with missing card. What do you mean? I don't know, your sentence kind of confused me. Yeah, the enchanted ornaments for the fireworks, I would just recommend getting them off OpenSea instead of the packs. Um, especially since the only reason, the main reason people bought the packs 
was to buy two of each to get the additional bonuses that came with them. That was the Christmas Sugar King Stand for the Enchanted Ornaments and the Sphere of Hope for the Enchanted Fireworks. And the, the Fireworks packs were more expensive. So they're, they're, they're not even really worth buying. Like, not even when they went on sale. Arth Agbajani, I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> Hello? Um, I have a good hardware, but my FPS is not leaving 60 FPS. Do you have any suggestions? Mm. Are you trying to get above 60 FPS, or are you just trying to get 60 FPS? I mean, this game, like, I don't know how else to say it, but it kind of sucks with the actual FPS. Like, by the time you get to the finish build, it's going to drop so much. Uh, it's like very, it's very heavy on the, the hardware usage. So normally, depending on why, uh, depending on which monitor and, and uh, hardware you have, the the usual FPS you get is 60. I, I can get up to 85 with my setup. That's the highest it'll go, I believe. I'm not really sure exactly what you could do to improve the FPS. I mean, I like playing. Townstar on uh, Microsoft Edge. I feel like it it runs better than when I play it on Google Chrome. And it, it crashes a lot when I play it on Google Chrome. On uh, Microsoft Edge, I don't really get that issue. Not a whole lot. So maybe just try a different browser. That may help. Okay, so I got the nuclear power plant built. Do I need it now? Um, not just yet, no, I'll actually build it when I need it. I can start working, can I start working on another one? Okay, this is where I'm going to have my pottery shops and I'm going to have a nuclear plant dedicated to it. It's going to be here, so, uh, oh, not, not unless I want to get rid of my sand mines. I don't want to get rid of my sand mines and I'll lose all my money. I don't want to lose all my money. That's probably not going to happen. Um, I'm going to move my sand mines. I'm actually going to have them over here because I actually am going to need silica to make molten glass. So this is where they're going to go. Uh, it's just going to be three. I believe that's all I need. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I need more than that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. Like maybe we can temporarily put more. I don't feel like cash is gonna be an issue though. Ah, oh, but what the hell? I'll just. <laughs> these are these are temporary, just so I can keep selling a bunch of silica. Temporary, temporary. Yeah, they build fast. I bought in Gala store, then we need to exchange to get the cards. Oh, that's right. So you bought the packs. So you'll go into your inventory and click on the, the your town store NFTs and find the pack and click on it. You're gonna have two options: send and exchange. You're gonna want to click exchange. It's gonna ask you to pay a gas fee and Ethereum. You can try it with the lowest. It might fail though. So I would do a little higher than the lowest. Don't do max. It's a waste of gas. I, I didn't do max when I exchanged them. I just did a little higher than the lowest. It wasn't even half uh, halfway. Like just just put a little bit more gas. Don't put a whole lot. And it, it should work. It should exchange. It might take like an hour though. It may take a couple minutes, but it, um, usually it might take up to an hour. And then you'll get the actual NFTs, the actual fireworks or enchanted ornaments or whatever have you. Arth Agbajani, I'm trying to produce more FPS. My FPS dropped in 20 FPS only. 
my hardware are RTX Quadro 4200 2X. It's strange. I use this for productivity, but in browser, it's not using its potential. Oh, okay. Sometimes I go down to 20 FPS by the time I'm finished, but I'm assuming you're not nowhere near finished right now. But then, I don't really know how to help you when it comes to hardware. Like, that's really the only suggestions I have. Maybe, uh, what, what can you do? Clear your cache? Maybe have less windows open? I'm not exactly sure, man. But yeah, some, sometimes I still get FPS issues, and this is like a brand new computer with not the best hardware, but pretty good. Much better than the laptop. But, um... Hopefully, that's not as much of an issue with the new Townstar version. So, got a bunch more silica. Man, I can't move my warehouse just yet, so I'm going to build a regular one. I am planning to have one of my big warehouses here. I can't move it because I don't want to get rid of the, rid of the uh, two steel that I have on that one. I can pave this and start working on my nuke after that. And go ahead and get rid of these. Oh, Kim Hong. Uh, yes, I exchange but get missing card and get duplicate card also. It is possible to get duplicates. Wow. What? What makes you think you got a missing card? Like, is it because you got a duplicate? There should be four cards total. If you're talking about the fireworks, it's possible that instead of getting a firework card, you will get the North Pole Creation Lab. The low chance, though. Yeah, some people are... Uh, oh, dang. Some people were really unlucky and got four of the same firework. I opened two packs at a time, so I don't really know if that if that might have happened to me. Because uh, when I opened all my packs, I had some fireworks that had four of the same. Step four, waiting on complete water pumps and row of ponds and trees on the left. So far, so good. Okay, okay. So you're following the build process and so far it's working out. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> that it's actually working out. Even if you have to modify it a little, I mean that's normal. Okay. Temporary warehouse here for the silica. Yes, I got duplicate. Yeah, the duplicate is uh is normal. It's very likely that you will get duplicates when you open those packs. Great builds you make, thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's just from playing Townstar the the entire year last year. <laughs> uh Kim Hong Xiang, I tried to trade in the community, but it seems don't let anybody. It. Well, I know people were trading like the first week the packs came out. Really like the first three days and that's about it. After that, people just kind of go on open sea and get the rest of the cards that they want. And then there's some people that don't like trading because um too much trading, too much gas fees on the trades, and uh, I guess the fear of getting scammed. I mean, I understand that possibility. You could always just sell your duplicates on OpenSea and um, buy the ones you need. Uh, of course, not everybody has like quick access to OpenSea, but that's that's ultimately what I suggest. Martin, yeah, practice went good now, for real. Oh, did you practice it as well? Yeah, that's very good. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll wait on that, Rose. I don't know. I don't want to pay it yet. But um, I can make a second nuclear power. Super good. And I'll just need five more steel for the last one. The last one will go right here. Oh, I still have a bunch of energy. Oh, it's because this is making energy. So I don't need this no more. And I do want to move my uh 
my lumber mill over. I don't want to sacrifice 32 lumber just yet. Perhaps I can make my uh, pottery chunks? No, no, I was going to make more loggers. What am I doing? Oh, I can make more forklifts. I'm all over the place. I, I need two forklifts for the silica. Honestly, I probably only need one. But, like, for the time being, I'm going to make two. Like, yeah, I probably only need one. I most definitely only need one. I'm just getting just gonna make two of them for now because it's what I had on my no NFT setup. Fix it later. How many of these are loggers? Uh looks like these are. I don't really know how many loggers I'll need. But I'm gonna have like empty spots that I don't know what to do with. So, all right. Ah, that built quick. Okay, so I can get rid of this big warehouse, and um, I'll wait for the silica to sell, and then I'll put the other big one right here. Cause I don't want to get rid of seventeen silica. It's like funny. I'll go broke if I get rid of 17 silica. Is it available in OpenSea? The fireworks and the ornaments? Yes, they are. Um, I also I have the links to them, to the OpenSea pages on the Town Sword Playbook, if you want to check it out there. If not, just make sure you're on the official Town Star collection on OpenSea. Marching, yes, in 10 hours, almost total build done, I said. Okay, yeah, that's right. It was almost done then. Much detailed to build it. Good scene, I noticed you watch what you do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 10 hours. Reasonable. Alina Anastasiu. Hey there, Rod. Thanks for streaming. Short question. Oh, hello, Alina. Uh, short question. Uh, is that mine one shadow only? Yes, I believe it should be just the one shadow and one dirty, unless something changed. I haven't tested it in a long time. But it should be just one shadow and one dirty. Can I test that right now? Let's see. I'm getting shade from the nuke. That's two shade from the nuke. It's one shade from the builder. And one shade from here. Yes, so it is one shade and one dirty. I can come from that. And that's what that's what the Townstar playbook says that well as well. Oh. Andre the Jagger, how many semis do you have? Right now five, but um I uh I think I only need three. That's what I'm planning for. And if I'm if I only need three, I really only need one forkly. Because um I have the the enchanted ornament buff, like it gives you the 50% speed bonus. And the Miranda skins, like one forklift will go fast enough to get them all, especially since the warehouse is nearby. I'm still waiting on silica. Oh, I probably sold some and completely missed it. Do I need this? Hmm, maybe. I know I'm gonna need more. Uh, I don't really know exactly how many. Water facilities I'll need. I do know that I'll need like at least six. See, I could add 10. I just don't know if I need 10, but I might as well. I can get rid of this road. I do want to add roads here. I could add builders here since. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these spots over here. I have no clue. Put builders. My uh, my beehives will go here somewhere.
Okay, as long as they're not holding anything of value. So I'll get rid of them later. Um, what can I build? Pottery shops? I can build a couple. Yeah, I might as well start building some of this stuff that I'll need. This competition is fast. With NFTs, of course, but yeah, this competition is going fast. Like, I'm, I'm working on my finished build. I'm going to have to edit the thumbnail once I'm done. <laughs> I'm already, like, working on my finished build. I am going to stream for about another hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't think I'll get done by then. But uh, I'll try to be done by then. I might be. We'll see. No. Maybe, maybe in an hour and a half. Like, if I can get to the point where I'm crafting rocking horses, like, even if it's not optimized yet, that's fine. It should be good. Yeah, and then once I'm done streaming, I, I probably will do a part two. I'm sure I'll need to tweak it. So I'll probably just hang out for another hour or so. So I don't know exactly how many pottery shops I need, but my little idea that I made is going to have nine. That's probably too much. Probably need only seven or eight. It's going to have nine. I'm going to use the haunted maze zones to give passive play. I have one more right here. I just, I can't build it yet. Like I said, it's not optimized. I'm just going to have to figure stuff out. Alina, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I can okay. I I need, I want to build two roads here. Where is this builder going? I really like getting rid of builders when they're actually trying when they actually are holding items. Oh, they're just putting it back. Probably gonna get them anyway. All right. Three more steel. Then we're good. I'm not making enough uh, energy, or I just I'm using too much of it. Oh yeah, I needed to build this before. Okay, whatever. This is gonna get. This is gonna make. Uh, this is gonna add more energy to me. Ah, whatever. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Wait. No, I'm backtracking. I need it. I can't. I need the passive energy for these still and the. But um. Once I have five steel, I'm gonna get rid of it and start building the nuclear power plant. So I'm crafting my third steel, then I'm gonna need two more. Alright. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get rid of this one. And I'll start paving more roads. And yeah, let me pave these three and add another one. It doesn't look very organized, but gets the job done. It's coming along. If you if you saw my no NFT build, you kind of see some similarities. That's the point. Oh, hey, JJ's Gameplays. Hey, I made it for once. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sure you're working on your competition build too. Like, I have so little points. JJ's Gameplays is probably rank 7 right now. No, I'm wrong. He's there somewhere. But it's still too early. There's not... Yeah, almost nobody has points right now. Nobody sold a batch of rocking horses. Surprisingly, considering how fast this build is going, I, I kind of assumed. No, JJ, you're 13th, huh? You're ranked 13th. That was close. I said 7. <laughs> Man, you're, you're too good at this game. 
Uh, thanks for stopping by, though. You're too good. There's nothing I can teach you. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I almost got a mountain river, but got sniped. Oh, that would be too overpowered. <laughs> oh, well. Do you really need the river? Um, or you, you don't have a lot of uh, passive water NFTs? I, I, I'm not sure, actually. As, as you can see, the two legendary water tower setup is insane. Super helpful. I don't need this red anymore. I didn't plan a proper build. So I'm kind of just like, I put stuff together and we'll see what it does and then I'll tweak it. <laughs> That's my uh, plan. JJ, to free up a couple tiles or three. Yeah, right. Yeah, just like three tiles. Yeah, I didn't even bother going for a mountain river. Uh, I didn't want to deal with the headache. And apparently, I didn't even have my, my name copy and pasted. Like, I, I, I had the link to the uh, stream copy and pasted, and then I pasted that, and I'm like, oh, crap. So I had to delete that and actually type in my uh, account name. Needed it to hit 100 rocking horses per hour. Yeah, that's, that's crazy high. With no river, got to settle for 94, 95. Oh, that's it. Uh, I'd be lucky to hit 80 with no planning. Nah, even 70. I'm, I'm, a, I'm fine settling, settling for 70. Um, I'm not going to give myself a headache trying to tweak it for like 10 hours. Like, no. No, no, no. Uh, I'll get it done today, whatever, whatever gets done, whatever rate I hit, that's it. Or so I say, then I get bored tomorrow and tweak it for like another two or three hours, I don't know. Zboard, hello there, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Zboard. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sure you're doing really good in the competition as well. I mean, hopefully, hopefully you are. <laughs> okay, I need to remember. I, I need to put my big storehouse here. The only reason I haven't done it is because I'm trying to get rid. I'm trying to sell that silica. I want to miss out on silica or else I'll go broke because I only got 20 mil. Exaggerating, of course. Cropping my fourth seal, then I'm going to get... I need one more, and then I can make my, my uh, last nuclear power plant. Oh, I have almost no lumber. Okay, I'll sacrifice the one lumber. I do want the lumber storage here. I don't know how much of a difference it'll make, but plan is to have my fabric plants kind of like this. Um, and my silo right here. I guess I'll just, I'll build the silo. But uh, I, I'm still trying to focus on getting all these loggers. I don't know. I think I'm making really good progress. I mean, everybody else have like decimal values in their cap. You didn't plan? Who are you? You were the one who told me to do this. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't make an actual bill for myself. That was the plan. The plan was to make a plan, dude. That was the plan. But the plan did not go to plan. Nah, I, I worked on another video yesterday. But then I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll wing it. And really, when I woke up, I still had like 30 minutes to kind of come up with this idea. I just, it's not tested, but it's better than nothing. I do wonder what my final rate will be. Okay, so what am I waiting on? I have energy, wood. Yeah, I'm waiting on lumber. I mean, they're getting they're getting wood as fast as they can. All right. 
Okay, yeah, it's I'm using a bunch of resources on these pottery shops. I probably should have just focused on the loggers first. But whatever. I have a bunch of iron. I'm a, I'm gonna turn off the water facility. That's actually a lot. I have more iron than I need right now. Okay, shut it down. Shut it all down. Fine. I'll wait for this iron to finish and I'll shut it down. JJ, you're good enough to still do very well by winging it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm not aiming for like top 50. I don't. That's, that's too high up there. But that's too good of a rank. I'll still do good. The NFTs really help out. Yeah, I'm just waiting right here. Does anybody... JJ, how much money do you have? Do you have more than 21 mil right now? I was about to ask, does anybody else have more money than I have right now? In in the game, of course, because sold a lot of silica. Yeah, but clearly it's not a lot of coins. I wonder what some of these other people are doing. Are they making oak barrels? I decided not to do that. I just... I just went for the silicone because I already knew it was going to be way too much money. Maybe, maybe ice blocks. They're they're about the same points as uh, oak barrels. Thirty seven million. Yeah, so you're probably selling way more silica than me. Already built. Fortune one point three million. Final build. I mean, yeah. I'm like, I realize like. 20, 30 minutes into the competition, I'm like, so am I just going to start my final build now that I have all this money? It's cool, though. I like doing this um, instead of waiting, like, two hours to wait to have enough money. Kuro ZXT, hello, Kuro. 70 million, you got us off beats. That's a lot. What have you been doing? Selling 500 silica an hour? No, I'm selling 500 silica now. So you're probably selling like 1500 or something. I'm sure you have enough money for the the uh, whole competition now. <laughs> Fortune, busy, step five. That's good, step five out of the ten steps. Yeah, halfway there, not really halfway there, but like the first five steps are pretty fast. Almost two hours into the competition. FS Trent, hello FS Trent. Rank 50, only have 4 mil. First nuke is being built. Oh, what did you do for uh to get to rank 50? Like, what are you making? Because I'm barely getting the, uh, any points. I, I believe, is it one silica, uh, one point per silica? I sold some gas. I know that was uh, a couple points. So I'm assuming it's one point per silica. Yeah. It has to be. Was eating well silica rushing? Oh, okay. Yeah, no wonder. I have almost all the pottery shops built. I still need that one. Oh, I have five steel. Oh, I don't need no more steel. What am I doing? Um... So I'm ready. I'm ready to transition to my third nuke, and I'm done with the steel. Usually, the part that takes forever. Yeah, so five steel. I don't need that. I get rid of my extra water pump. I guess I don't need to place it anywhere. For the time being, I don't need this. I need it later. At the paved road. And. Uh, I should just wait for this to build. That's priority. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I'll, I'll keep working on this right now. I just, okay. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, they used all the steel. So get rid of these. I don't really... Yeah. Okay, get rid of that. Add more logger.
Silica and ice blocks. Okay, thought so. Yeah, ice blocks is more points. I don't think I can rush ice blocks. I'm assuming y'all have the all the Christmas NFTs. I mean, I got the Santa's factory. I know that helps a lot with the ice. I just don't have the uh, Master Wizard. I could make them. But do I really need more cash at this point? Ice blocks in addition to Silica. Okay. Yeah, y'all probably have Master Wizards. Yeah, I'm doing some weird things that y'all probably aren't doing. Like, um, since I didn't test this build out, like, nine pottery shops, that's probably too much. Um, maybe, like, 20 loggers, that's probably too much. But I'm going to tweak it later. So I, th I guess it's easier to remove stuff than to add stuff. But I'm going to end up with, like, three or five... Or something spots that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll find a use for them. FS Trent, Pump NFT, Wizard NFT, Santa NFT for gold was ready way before Silica. That's right. I got the pump and fortunately I do have the Santa's factory NFT. I actually did get it uh, from OpenSea. For a good deal, but um, I, I don't have the Master Wizard. I'm not planning on getting it. Hold on now. Wait, I have the Santa's Factory. If I were to get the Master Wizard, I could do Ice Rush in any build. What opportunities would that open up in the future? It makes me think about it. But I don't really want to. I want to try to to get a cream pot it's just they're too expensive <laughs> jj i have eight potteries and 17 lockers okay i'm close but you make way more than i'm planning to make so clearly i'm gonna have too many pottery shops and probably too many loggers oh well you live and learn get rid of some of this Um, add more loggers. If, if I have all the loggers on, then I can get wig much quicker. And I get even more lumber for everything else. I should have asked how many lumber mills you have. So originally I was planning five, but I'm like, five is way too much. And I got the legendary uh, guided blade. Maybe just four or maybe i do need five considering all the loggers i'm gonna use actually I don't, I don't even know what i would do if i don't if i don't make all five i'm just gonna make five right now and then i'll figure it out later. like oh no that's too much lumber but yeah whatever <laughs> if it's Oh, FS uh, made a pond and was making points slash money. Uh, Martin Siebel's the difference with good NFT and five months more experience. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I know some people have really good NFTs and a lot of them, they don't have the experience. They, they're just lacking that. Um, then, there's, then there's people with no NFTs. And a lot of experience, and they're beating some of these people with a lot of NFTs. Like, that's impressive. JJ, I got five and with Ancient Guided Blades. Okay, so my idea to have five doesn't sound as stupid as I thought. That's good. Good to know. And unfortunately, I didn't get that Ancient Guided Blades. I got ranked 221 in that competition, and I guess it wasn't enough. Dang. But legendary, good enough.
Yeah, five mils, five lumber mils. What am I going to do with 16 iron? Can't even sell it. Uh, I might need it for the glass factories, I suppose so. I was going to flush it, but then I'm like, I need it for something. So yeah, I'm going to have two of them here. The, the plan is to have four. Once again, I don't know if that's too much. I know it only takes a minute to craft each molten glass now. They got to go to this warehouse to pick it up. At the very least, three, but stick to the plan. It's going to be four. Uh, I'll wait on that. I don't know. I don't want to miss out on that silica, you know? I'm going to run out of money. So I don't want to get rid of these two just yet. Check. Uh, Zibor, I agree. Everything is hiding behind them. Everything is hiding behind what? <laughs> Uh, we should provide feedback and ask for an option to get all buildings in the same proportion. Oh, you mean like the top building? Like the wizard towers and lumber square? Perhaps an option to rotate the camera to where you have a field of view and you're looking at everything from the top. Or maybe that would suck, I don't know. But that way you kind of like see everything in front of you. I don't know if that makes sense. Right, more lockers. Pave these two roads. Build that one. That one. Um, and I'll wait a little. Well, I think I have two paved roads over here, but um, yeah, yeah, I, I'll put them later. I have almost all my roads down. So I, I could add like two roads here and then try to put something, some other buildings here. I don't know what buildings I'm going to put though. Like, but uh, for the time being, there's two paved roads there in case I need them. Just in case. JJ, I've been getting ancient for all of them except gilded barns. I started 30 hours late and only managed to secure a legendary one. Oh, okay. And that was probably the competition I did my best in. I think I got top 50 on that. Uh, but you're not missing out. I mean, have we needed to use the NFT yet? No, it has not been used once yet. Like, it's, this is not going to be that useful. It will have its uses, but it's not a really, really good one. Excited for the Tree Ghost card? Yeah, the best one for sure. Best one. I'm excited too. <laughs> and I'm getting the ancient, so even better. Never mind, wrong chat. Oh, okay. All right, Zibor. Mm. Getting the loggers built. I'm just waiting. So, what am I waiting on? Energy and wood? Crafting as much energy as I can. Hmm. I can I can make the beehives. The idea is seven beehives right now. I do feel like I will need more than that though. That's the initial idea. Uh, I can add more no problem because I had empty I have empty spots. Like, yeah, no problem if I need to add more. Uh, idea is like that. I'm gonna have my passive nectar NFT right here. Passive clay right here. This spot in the corner. Um, like if I wanted to, I could put some cotton or another peppermint field, but I don't think I'll need them. So I'm gonna have my uh, passive 
The the haunted maze on three that it's not going to be useful in this build. I'm just going to have it in the corner. Or the haunted maze on four. I actually have to put the haunted maze on four somewhere else as well. I'm sure, I'll find the spot. Oh yeah, 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 I'll put it in one of these spots that I don't know what to do with. Of course. Perfect. I might place down my box as well. <laughs> if I can't figure out what else to put. I wonder if they drop my FPS. So yeah, let's place my box there. Wherever they okay, there we go. I got my proud hearth box and my green fairy. I'm just gonna start walking around and cause a chaos. You know what I just realized? Placing down my box. I need to get my resources on uh, Box Odyssey. Dang. Dang. I probably went half a day. Sometimes I, I go, um, so maybe y'all don't know what Box Odyssey is, but if you own Box, you send them on task and get uh, resources that you'll be able to use in Boxiverse. And you gotta like send them on task every once in a while. Once you're high enough level, it's every 12 hours. And sometimes I just completely forget to do it. Damn, I'm gonna fall behind if I keep forgetting. So I'm on, I'm on my phone right now, just doing it real quick. It only takes a minute. But yeah, I miss out on resources. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to start a business in uh, Voxverse once it comes out. Hopefully that's a thing. Eventually, I'll make a video with my plans for uh, the other games like Voxverse and um, Mirandis and The Walking Dead Empires. We do have a playtest coming up for The Walking Dead Empires by the end of the month. Yeah, by the end of the month. So I am going to play that. Maybe I'll stream it as well if anybody wants to play. And then eventually I'll make a video on my plans for that game as well. Okay, I think I'm done here. Wait. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Andre, uh, my shallow mines don't want to build. It is grayed out, but I do have a mountain and paper. You want to build iron mines, not shallow mines. If you have a mountain, go ahead and build iron mines. They're faster. They just won't let you build a shallow mine if you have a mountain because they're intended to be built on an open edge. So yeah, build uh, iron mines. You're having the opposite problem that most people have. <laughs> most people are like, uh, how do you make a mountain how do you make a mine without a mountain? That's most people's problem. They don't know about shallow mines. And I'm assuming in your case, you forgot that iron mines exist. They should have just called them mines. Just regular mines. Oh, are the beehives built? Uh, I guess I can build them. They have no wages. Um... Okay, I do have a pond here somewhere. Actually, it doesn't even need to be a pond. So, I will use the Death Row Records. That's two paths of water on this NFT. And I, the reason I have this is because I need... Yeah, I need more water in these two spots to be able to support... Well, in this spot, really. I need more water in this spot to be able to support another tree. It's literally the only use for this. So not that useful.
Okay, all right. Looking good. Just I'll put down my fabric. Uh, plan is only three. It should be enough. Should be more than enough. Uh, oh, I don't even think. I don't think. I don't think I was supposed to put the pottery shop here. Wow, I don't even remember. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that pottery shop there. I, I wasn't sure. I don't think I was supposed to. I don't think I was intending to have that pottery shop there. Um, but we'll see. So Master Wizards will craft the enchanted objects that I'll need. I was going to put four, but for now I'll put three. Then I need the Wizards Workshops for the Mystic Matters. I'll, craft, I'll put three. I do have all the fireworks, so they'll craft faster. But three just to be safe. Same thing with the glue, two to be safe, even though I probably only need one. I will want two pantries in case I uh, produce excess of honey or honeycomb, which I probably will. The storage for the glue, that's easy. I'll use my uh, big storehouse. You know, I don't really like the, the um, I don't like having the skin on the big storehouses. I actually do like the way they look without it. There we go. Yeah, I like the way it looks. It looks cool. Big and majestic. JJ, you seem more lively than in your recorded videos. Well, yeah. <laughs> Streaming life. No, that's true. I usually try to stay serious and keep things more organized on my recorded videos. Um, I try not to ramble on because sometimes I'll do that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I try to keep my recorded videos like as short as possible. Like I don't want to waste people's time. That's my goal. But it's a stream. It, it, it we're going on for a couple hours, so. If you have time to watch it, then I'm sure you don't mind me just rambling on, showing you the whole build. So I'm going to need some beekeepers. Gosh, I, I have six beekeepers on here, and I'm pretty sure that's overdoing it. Pretty sure six is way too much. I'll figure it out later. I don't know how I, I'll be able to... Uh, improve this I'm not sure if I'll be able to add more mines if I really wanted to it's gonna be four and four how many mines are you using JJ like I'm sure you don't need a mine for iron because you got the styling right I'm not gonna make any iron either I'm planning to have four for chromium, four for limestone. I think I'll have all my loggers. So how, how much did I end up with? Yeah, 20 loggers. I probably could add more right here. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with these four spots just yet. Just media, wow, that's almost 80% town progress. It's almost completely done. <laughs> I'll stream for about another half hour or a whole hour, and I should probably be done by then. It'll just, it'll just need to be tweaked, but I'll be able to uh, take a break and come back and see if I succeeded or failed. But even if I fail, it should still make some rocking horses. Uh, I'm going to work on getting my peppermint. Once again, I don't know how many I would need exactly. Uh, I got like, how much? 
12 or 13 going on here? 12 or... That's 10, but I also have two over here because I, I got the mountain casting shade on these spots. Uh, my bad. And I have one right here. Okay, uh, I'll temporarily make a wood storage here. I'm gonna have my final lumber yard right here. And the lumber yard is just gonna, it's supposed to only hold oak wood at the end of the build. JJ, 10, 10 mines. No, I only have eight. I'm sure I could add two more. It's just that they won't have full passive energy with my setup. For 70, 80, you'll be good with eight mines. Okay, all right, yeah. It's so whatever eight mines gets me. Because um, if I added two mines, like I could add them here, and I could put my rare solar panel, and they'll have full energy. Um, a big warehouse would be moved here in that case, and my census factories would be moved over here somewhere. Yeah, here with the passive iron. You know what? I could add two more mines. I just, I might not even need them. But um, once I start tweaking later in part two of the stream, I'll keep that in mind. I at least have the options to add to my mind. And I won't have to build another power plant or anything. Three cotton fields. I'll need two or three. Three is the plan right now. I don't want to add my oak trees yet, but they'll be around here somewhere. And I don't know exactly how many I'll need just yet. Uh, that's yellow right now, but it won't be once I remove this. Let me let me remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Put another peppermint field. My plan for water facilities is a total of ten. I do want two more roads here. I'll get rid of this builder as well. Ten water facilities is like what? Thousand water drums. It, it feels like a lot, but I, I don't really know what else I could put over there, unless I uh, I add the two mines and then I can actually put something else here. But I, I don't even need to, because I, I plan to put my uh, tractors over here, whereas I could actually put them over here instead. I could put them over here. And if I put them over here, that, that might be better in case I do decide to add two mines. Hmm. Try not to overthink it. Okay, I, I might do that. I might just put my farm trackers over here. And then I'll, I'll end up with spots over here that I don't know what to do with. For now. Okay. All right. And then there's so much being built. Um, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the haunted maze too. Oh, you know what? I also bought a, bought a coin gecko NFT. Mostly for decoration, because I don't think I ever use it. Um, I don't believe it needs a road. Yeah, it doesn't need a road. Oh, so it opens up the little jar. It's cute. 
It reduces the uh, gro the craft time of peppermint by an insignificant amount, like very little. Like I do not recommend using the Sun of Tea. But you never know what they might do with the new version. It might uh, power it up. Might be better. At the very least, I'll get to show it off in a NFT review video uh, in the future. Oh, so right here will be Haunted Maze Zone 1. Passive Nectar. Uh, over in this corner, just Haunted Maze Zone 3. I need to have Haunted Maze Zone 4 somewhere. Probably one of these spots. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait on that though. Okay, so I'm going to have my two census factories here and here. Two should be enough. I will need to... I, I'll just need to build one because I do have one of them as an NFT. Where you at? Okay. Right here. All right, what needs to be built? That. Okay, I'm just waiting around. I can add more trees. Always something to do. So once the forever mode comes out on Town Star, like the social Town Star, where you get to make a build that stays forever, how many of you are going to like play that all day the first day it comes out? <laughs> like, I mean, maybe it'll get boring eventually if you were to play it all day, but so, like, is there a goal? Are they going to make a bunch of missions? What? Like, do you want to get to a billion cash as fast as possible or a billion points? Like, I wonder what, it, what it's really going to look like. Um, like, we don't have a goal or what? I wonder what it's going to, what, what's going to happen. Oh, uh, Alina, Anastasia, uh, are you out of gas? Uh, I am. But I'm using the dragon, so the dragon does not need gas to sell items, and it sells 25 at a time, and it's faster than even the express depot. So since I'm using the dragon, I'm doing no gasoline on this build, so I don't need refineries either. Super nice. Dragon is one of the nicest NFTs, and honestly, it's underrated, because if you plan on playing Mirandus, it's confirmed that this NFT will also allow you to have like a baby dragon in the Mirandus game. Um, the exact utility for that baby dragon hasn't really been revealed, but it's hinted that it will actually probably help you in battle, like shoot out fireballs whenever it wants to. Um, so yeah, that NFT is underrated. It's super powerful in Tomstar, and it'll be really nice to have in Mirandus. It's not that cheap though. Is it any? It's right now. It's probably anywhere between a thousand to a thousand five hundred. Oh, that's a lot of trees. And you're telling me I can make more lumber than that? I don't know. <laughs> I think five lumber mills is too much. Uh, eh. What am I waiting on? Wood. And wood. Okay. I'll wait a little longer. 
McBacon daily and weekly missions along with top monthly placements on the monthly meta. They also need a yearly meta as it tells less thought long. A yearly meta. Imagine winning first place in a year long meta. Oh, that would be crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, as long as they have something to do in the actual Town Star Forever mode so people can keep on playing. Uh, I would like to see like constantly repeating missions that don't end. Like you probably only need to have to, you only need to do a couple missions for your gala reward from your NFTs. But uh, then you can keep doing missions and like, I don't know, keep leveling up and keep getting consumables up to a certain point. Like not an infinite amount of rewards, that would be overpowered. But at, at least a way to get uh, more rewards for a couple hours of gameplay every day. Hmm, what's my ratio? Three, three honey, four honeycomb. That's the plan at least. Three honey, four honeycomb, and we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I know some people are not used to all the NFT utilities being used in the competition. Okay, uh, this will craft cotton yarns. I guess I could start getting some of this stuff built. These will face each other. That'll face the pond. I guess I can make this face a nuclear power plant. Okay. These will, yeah, these are facing each other. Uh, no, no. I don't want it to make lumber right now. I need wood. In fact, I'm making too much lumber. Oh. Okay. Alina, super nice indeed. Yeah, it is. Okay, how's this gonna look like? I don't want to make uh, ceramic bowls just yet. No, I accidentally turned it on. Uh, but that one doesn't have the... Uh, I haven't placed all my haunted mazes, so it's not giving all the clay yet. It's, it's like habit to turn these on when I... Uh, build them. All right. McBacon, yeah, each person's missions should be different so all towns could be unique and the placements come from several factors, separate ladders for most sales, most baked goods, most whatever. Okay, yeah, like different uh, types of leaderboards. Yeah, that would be more fun, really. Just medium, I'm not really used to building town now without the oil seed. Oh, yeah, I feel that. I mean, the oil seed is so helpful. Uh, this one. So I only have, I'm only, right now I only have three master wizards that are going to craft enchanted objects. I don't know if that's enough. It's supposed to be. That's all I can say. It's supposed to be enough. Doesn't mean it will be. I'll have three crafting mystic matter. That's enough. Because these uh, only take a minute with all the fireworks it activated. What do I have here? Oh, I have a, a extra warehouse, uh, just a regular one. Um, so they can put the ceramic bowls there. They'll be easier to grab or something. Yeah, two builders hiding here because I don't know what else to put there. So these will craft glue. 
Wow, 14 seconds, really. You know, I only need one of these. I don't even know why I built two, I only need one. But already built. What can I do? Get rid of it, add another lumberjack, logger, I mean. Uh, it's it's there. Oh well. Just like I probably don't need six of these. But... This is my thought process. You get to see kind of my idea without having a full finished build. My idea on what might work. Um, uh, but I'll go ahead and turn these on. Do I? Uh, will I survive with just twenty five mil cash? Maybe. Get rid of these two temporary ones and build two more glass factories. I might only need three, considering they reduce the craft time on multi class. But original plan is for the original idea. Oh, I can do this. There we go. I don't care if this cross there. I don't care what that happens to the nuclear power plant. Um, I need a oak wood. I'll get rid of this. I plan to have my dedicated lumber yard here. And I'll put one over three. I don't know if it'll grab any because I have a bunch of regular wood. Chris, that's why I wanted to get the Haunted Maze and empty or something. They're actually really helpful. Um, at the time, I think everybody thought they were kind of too pricey for a full set. But if you look at OpenSea now, um, they're selling for a lot more than what they originally sold for, surprisingly. But they are, they are good NFTs, even though they don't, they don't qualify for earnings. They are good. Make bacon and keep two so glue doesn't become a bottleneck. You have four mystics. Well, yeah, but um, I have all the fireworks. Uh, if you don't realize, if you have all the fireworks, it halves the craft time. But but yeah, I'll keep two glue. I only have three mystics. I do not think that's an issue at all. Three mystics should be more in than enough with a one minute craft timer. Um, if I did not have all the fireworks, I probably would do four mystics. Uh, the enchanted object is where I have three. I I was planning on having four. These do take a little under two minutes, and they do have to pick up more items. But um, uh, I'm going to see if that's enough. If not, maybe I can replace one of these pottery shops. Or I could add a road here, and then add another of these building. There's room for improvement. Okay, so I got my storage here. I get rid of that. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Legendary style and ride will go here. The reason I need the legendary style and ride, or the reason I'm gonna want to use it in this build, is for the passive iron to supply it to the rocking horses. That way I don't even need to craft iron. So that completely eliminates iron from these storages. I need to flush the iron. I need to make sure I don't have any. Uh, that's a lot of energy. I don't want to get rid of all that. Okay. I'm going to have two Santa's factories, but I have an NFT for one of them. And it's going to be easy to move in case I decide to add two more mines. Okay, that's good. Is good. Yeah, I'll go ahead and build it. Do they look different? Oh, this one looks a little taller.
right? Oh no. Guys, do y'all see any difference from the regular and the NFT version? Or like and I, am I missing something or are they the same building? <laughs> no, seriously, usually they make them look different. Ah, oh, really? They're the same building. They didn't even bother uh, making them look different. But uh, unless I'm missing something, they look the exact same. Okay. Not unique at all. Okay. Oh, look at that. I got way too much lumber. Way too much. Oh my gosh. You know, maybe I should start crafting stuff. Let's, let's do it. Let's start crafting stuff because we got way too much lumber. Um, oh no, I like to do two limestone first. I don't know why. Uh, I'm gonna do two limestone. And clouds. <laughs> two limestone. Two chromium. Two limestone. Two chromium. Uh, start making molten glass. I'm gonna stream for about another 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I do want to get my, uh, I decided that I'm, I'm going to make the farm tractors here. I need two or three. I'm going to get rid of my box for the time being. I'll place them back later if I need them. Um, I'll do three just to be on the safe side. But, uh, I can, I guess I can start crafting some of this. I'll temporarily put my haunted maze zone four here. This should double the effects of all my zones. Yes, okay. And start making ceramic pool. Get to work. I do want to flush my iron though. It's gonna flush a lot of my energy, but no worries. Okay. Yeah, just flush flush. Get rid of it. Start again on the energy. Uh, I almost have all my water facilities. Okay, there we go. Oh, FS Trent, Haunted Porch is great. Also gives pumpkins without water, which was nice when pumpkins were boosted for gas. Yeah, absolutely. I try to get a, a haunted porch, but I'm not really trying that hard. It's just if I get a haunted porch, then I'm gonna want to sell my uh, West Wing, and uh, then then I pay the creator fees. It just it doesn't really seem worth it to upgrade from a haunted West Wing to a to a haunted porch. It, it doesn't. It's not worth all the trouble. But it is definitely a good NFT to have. Make bacon. The, the different bricks, the black top piece is gray. Um, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They look the exact same. They look the same. I I have them right now. I have them facing each other, but um, no, nah, they look the same, man. They're the same building, or I'm blind and I I don't realize the difference. Um, uh, FS Trent. I have West Wing and Porch. You got the Porch second. Oh, okay, so you have both of them, huh? Mm, that's too much for me. <laughs> Ruka, when you notice a different change and it's like, oh, now I have three trucks and all buildings and crops. Uh, 
I had an extra road. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Now you got three uh, trucks. You need three. I mean, that seems like a lot. You need it. You, you know you need it too, but do you need three? Better safe than sorry. Right, can I finish this in the next 15 minutes? What do y'all think? Am I actually started? Um, I see ceramic bowls. And um, eventually I'll get that molten glass. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Part two. We'll we'll uh, we'll see how much I made after this first initial build before any tweaks. Danny Wells. Hello, Danny Wells. Uh, one has a few bricks. A different color. There's no way, guys. One has a few bricks of different color. <laughs> oh, guys, I can't tell if you're serious or I just don't see it. I'm not going to spend like 20 minutes looking at the census factory to see what the difference is. I'm going to ask Mal later. Mal's going to have to point it out to me because I don't see it. Ruka, I'm uh, mass selling now, so yeah. Ma mass selling uh, silica. Okay. Yeah, so you need to use all three. That makes sense. Danny Wells or not. Haha. <laughs> no, no, I really don't see uh, different colored bricks. They look the exact same. Martin Z Bulls, uh, starting part six, power factory is almost done. So part six now. Very good. Um, so part six is where you have you moved the uh, silica rush over here uh, with the power plant, I believe. Or you're about to. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to turn these on. They're going to start collecting oak wood. They have the iron. So they just need the enchanted objects. Enchanted objects need, um, oh, enchanted objects need, they're starting to get peppermint. They need the mystic matter. And they need the molten glass. Starting to craft molten glass. I'm getting the limestone for the mystic matter. Oh, I'm getting the glue. I need the cotton yarn. I'm making cotton yarn. Um, this is probably going to be a pain. But I look at all the lumber I need. Um, for sure, for sure, I need six beekeepers, right? Like, like I probably do. Maybe I don't see why not. My loggers are going to sleep. That's a bad sign. That clearly means I have too many. Uh, I'll deal with that later, because uh, I don't know what I would do with those spots. Like, I'm sure I'll get rid of the loggers, but then what? I don't need these two. Originally, I was going to have the uh, farm tractors over here, but uh, I put them over here in case I added two more mines. So I guess for the time being, it's just, there's just going to be, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put down my box again. Because like, what, what can I do? Put down my box. Going to lower my FPS. We're going to cause some chaos in the town while I'm gone. There we go. Uh, I, I'm going to need more oak trees in a bit. So I can put them down. I'm going to stream for a couple more minutes, and then I'm just going to let it run. Hopefully it does run. How many oak wood will I need? I was thinking seven or eight of these. I have a bunch of wood, so uh, I don't think I'll run out. So I'm thinking eight. Eight oak tree farms. Uh, 
Yeah, clearly I do not need to for clips, I can tell. Do not need to. I'll keep it for now. Two builders there, three builders here. Oh boy. Here we are, I think I'm done. It needs to be tweaked, obviously. But um, I need to figure out exactly when needs to be tweaked, so I, I, I want to let it run. I'm sure this is too much lumber. It might be too much peppermint, and that's something I really need to be careful with. Because um, if it completely jams it with peppermint, I have no way to sell the excess amount. Okay. All right. This is temporary. I have an idea. I just don't want to get screwed over. I am going to place my paper road NFT, and I'm going to build a silo. That way, I can actually auto sell peppermint or cotton in case it gets out of hand. Because if I'm if I leave for a little while, and it fills up with peppermint, that's a that jams my build, and that's not good. So temporary extra silo. I don't plan on keeping it because once this is balanced, I don't need it. Just media, congrats! I'm still ten percent profit. Ah, you'll get there. JJ, man, I miss my symmetrical builds. Um, would you say my build is symmetrical? I mean, it's actually somewhat organized. You got your, uh, you got your lumber right here, your clay right here. I I've made worse. I've made messier builds, not necessarily worse. Like the stack box builds I've made, they are messy. But uh, the messier the build, usually sometimes you can get it better, having like scattered roads. Sometimes. Okay, I'm going to stop streaming in just a few minutes. Before I do that, I do want to set up auto sell. I actually do not need to craft any more energy. Um, I'm going to try to auto sell the rest of it. So it's, uh, I need two more energy so I can hit 15. What can I put? Water drums in case it gets out of hand. Peppermint. Cotton. Of course, I want to sell the rocking horses. And just about everything on auto sell because you never know what can happen. Everything. Everything, everything. Even wood. I'm actually, it's not even going to auto sell wood. That's the thing. I don't have enough uh, lumber yards. It's not supposed to be crapped over producing wood. I don't know why it's... Oh. I probably need to flush this. Yeah. Let me flush that. Oh, I'm making rocking horses, guys. I made two of them. It's not supposed to be over producing wood. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll try to watch out for that. It's not supposed to be. Oh, look, it filled up with peppermint. Clearly, there's too much uh, peppermint. I'll deal with it later. Your loggers are all neat. Yeah, look, they have their own neighborhood. Isn't it nice? They got a billboard on their neighborhood, too. They get to look at the billboard every time they go. <laughs> what is this? This ain't The Sims. Okay. Hmm, this is a bit weird. I can I can clearly tell that it's too much peppermint and I understand. But what can I do? Like do I add another paved road? Oh gosh, I hear like a cat outside. Uh, <laughs> for the time being I'm going to delete this one and eventually add a road there. No, I guess I'll start building it in case I do get too much wood. It's not supposed to be overproducing wood though, that's the thing. You get with five of these, it is not supposed to be. Oh boy, we'll see. I hope not. 
Ruka, L O L. Lol. I think I have everything. Take your guesses. What's my rate going to be when I come back for part two? And part two is really just going to be tweaking. I don't know how long I'll take. Maybe like an hour or two at most. Maybe just an hour. Oh, so I'll be gone for, um, because I want to, I want to get something to eat as well, but, um, mm, no, I'll probably come back in, it, it's hard to tell, in, in an hour or two. Yeah, I'll come back pretty soon. I'll be off for about an hour or two. Then I'll stream for like another maybe hour, just tweaking the build. And that's probably it. I don't I don't really want to spend a lot of time tweaking it. If I decide to do that, I might do that off camera tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. At the very end of the competition, I'll, I'll uh, record it and show it off the uh, following day or something. And uh, well, just to mention it, if, if, uh, you guys, I'm assuming everyone has, but if nobody, if someone has not seen my... Uh, video on the January competition showcasing my no NFT build. I am doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away three spare firework NFTs that I have. All you have to do is comment on the video and leave uh, either a fireworks emoji or the horse emoji or or both. As long as one emoji is on there, you qualify. And uh, when I do my next video showcasing my uh, competition experience and build, I will pick three winners from a list of qualified entries, and each of those people will win one fireworks NFT. That's how I'm gonna do the giveaway. Marchin, uh, your part is your part two is midnight for me. Go on Discord, I guess. Thanks for all your help. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by for this one. Just media. Oh, don't forget to join the giveaway, guys. I'm hoping to get one at least. Yeah, it, it's randomly picked from the list. I'm sure you've seen me do the others. <laughs> but uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Three winners. How many How many entries? Maybe 100? Maybe 50? Between 50 to 100 entries, I'm guessing. Just going off the last two. Okay. Uh, a few more minutes. I'm not going to stay long enough to sell a batch of rocking horses. Um, there's no way I'm making 81 per hour. That's fine. I am going to reset this. Should I reset it now? Let, hold on. Am I, let me make sure I'm auto selling everything. I don't want to screw up. I'm going to set lumber at a keep amount of... Uh, 75 so if some reason it goes to 100 it'll sell 25 that should not happen that should not happen um everything else should be on auto except for wood i cannot do anything about that the glue and object uh it's not supposed to be overproducing wood that is very weird that that's happening that's actually concerning. I would rather it overproduce oak wood. That's the thing. And the reason it's probably overproducing wood is because I have too much loggers. That's probably why. So I'm going to add more oak wood. I would rather overproduce oak wood than wood. In fact, if I have to underproduce lumber, it's safer that way. Okay, flush it again. There, I added in more oak trees than I plan to, but I'm just trying to play it safe right now. Still a lot of peppermint, but not as crazy as it was before, because I got rid of one of those. I'll keep these three here. Okay, um... So far, everything here, it should work. I managed to finish my build in under three hours super fast um i did not test this build and obviously there's spots that i don't know what to do with so when i come back 
I'll see what, I'll try to figure out how I can improve it. GG's gameplay 20 per hour, because it'll be bad. <laughs> it's very possible, man. It is very possible. It's going down. I'm trying to think, is that everything? Got lumber. It might not even be enough lumber. Oh crap. Uh, too much energy. I need to, uh, as soon as I sell 25 energy, that's it. Okay. All right, I think I have everything. A little bit too much life. So. But I think I have everything. Yep, I'm not going to overthink it. Okay. As soon as I sell a stack of energy, I'm turning this off. And that's it for part one. That's it for part one of the stream. I'll come back later in an hour or two. Part two would just be me trying to tweak it, I guess. Uh, if anybody wants to hang out, you will let me know how you guys are doing. But that's it. Finish build. Three more energy. Any questions y'all have before I end the stream, let me know. Meanwhile, I am eight. Should only take about a minute. Yeah. The three hour stream. Two more energy. Yeah, it's probably a little too many water drums as well, but um it, it doesn't look like a crazy amount. I don't think I've sold any water drums. Okay, I will make sure. All right, 25 energy. Turn this off. I do not need to craft any energy because I'm using nukes. Two big storehouses. One small storehouse for the items over here. This is one big storehouse for glue. Oh, did I say storehouses? These are two big warehouses, one small warehouse. One big storehouse, two pantries, two silos just in case, although I don't think I'm having any issues right now. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for stopping by and watching. Uh, hopefully this has been informative or inspired you in some way or I could help you. Um, hopefully y'all come back for part two. Totally up to you. And yeah, that's everything. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching.